last day of school for JCPS students gave us a chance to look back on the year while also taking a look at some of the positives. Wave News reporter Brandon Spencer joins us now to share what JCPS superintendent talked about during the year in review press conference. Well, John Myra, despite the transportation problems, Superintendent Polio called the academic and school success the best of his seven years in his position. And while he couldn't commit to staying past next year, he did say next year's first day of school will be better than this year's. The last day of school can bring a lot of excitement and cheers. Good job, guys! Students at Cochrane Elementary in J-Town were cheered on as they left the school for the last time of the year, for some, ever, reminiscing on their time. You can't just engage with the uh, teachers and the counselors. Um, whenever you're going through something, you can just go to them and you know that you can trust them. The last day of school also puts the year in perspective as JCPS tries to move past the year's challenges. You know, the amount of time clearly that I've had to focus on transportation, um, which, you know, I've learned a lot over the past year in, in transportation. And so uh, that, that was without a doubt the biggest challenge. And I think the biggest challenge I faced amongst many challenge over the past seven years. Those transportation woes were shown by the new plans approved to only bus most students to the reside schools with three newly approved start times. Dr. Polio says they've already started a process to improve their practices and have asked parents to let the district know how their students will be getting to school to finalize their plans. The quicker we get everyone to verify whether they are going to be a bus rider, a car rider, or a walker, um, we are able to solidify all of those. Our goals will be to, uh, by the end of June, to have all of the routing completed. By mid-July, have it available to families. The school year also came with some positives. The JCPS Police Department and weapon detection systems in high school helped curb behavioral issues and weapons found in schools. The graduation rate reached 87% for seniors, with 16% of seniors actually graduating early. And while Dr. Sorry. Polio says he can't commit to a lot for next year, he says he will commit to one thing. <laughs> yes, I can commit to next year's first day being better than this. If it's not, then... Um, uh, we'll have somebody else up here. Over the next three days, Dr. Marty Polio says a record-breaking almost 7,000 students will be graduating from JCPS, and they will also be working on their bus driver issues by having a hiring blitz on Saturday, June 1st. Brandon Spencer, Wave News.